Waitlisting is an available function in DuckWeb for certain classes that are full. If a class is full and has an available waitlist, you will be able to see this from the course information. If you meet the prerequisites for a course and want to get on the waitlist for it, click the checkbox in the Select column next to that course. If the course has a lecture and discussion or lab section both, check only the box next to the discussion or lab CRN. Do not check the box next to the lecture CRN. Waitlisting for these courses is only done on the lab or discussion section. Don't worry, when space becomes available in the lab or discussion, there will also be space available in the lecture. When you've clicked the appropriate select box, click register. The course, if available for waitlisting, will state this in the status column to the right. Note that this will also tell you how many other students are currently on the waitlist for that course. Select Waitlist in the far left-hand Action column. If Waitlist is not available as an option, either this is not a course available for waitlisting or the waitlist is full. If waitlisting is available, choose it from the drop-down menu and then click Submit Changes. The waitlisted class is now included on your current schedule with a waitlisted status. Note that you were not actually on the waitlist until you chose waitlist in the action column in the previous step and submitted your changes. You can tell that you're on the waitlist now because your status in the right-hand column tells you exactly when you entered waitlisted status. There are restrictions on waitlisting a course. Waitlists are offered only when a course is full. You will not be allowed to waitlist for a class unless you meet the prerequisites. You cannot waitlist more than one section of the same course or a course you're already enrolled in. Time conflicts are not checked when waitlisting for a course, but will be enforced when registering for a course. If a course you have waitlisted becomes available, you must assure that there are no time conflicts with your schedule or you will not be allowed to register for the waitlisted course. You can view your position on the waitlist by viewing your schedule in text format. From the Add Drop Worksheet, click View Your Class Schedule and select Text Format. You can also get here from the Student menu by clicking Student Class Schedule. The student in this example is number one on the waitlist. If for any reason you need to take yourself off of a waitlist, drop the course as you would any other. From the Add Drop Worksheet, select Drop from Waitlist from the Action column on the left and click Submit Changes. If an opening in your waitlisted course becomes available, an email will be sent to your uoregon.edu email account. You will have 24 hours from the time the message is sent to register for the course before you are automatically dropped from the waitlist, and the next student on the waitlist will be offered that open space. When you receive your email notice, read it carefully. Log into DuckWeb and navigate to the Add Drop Worksheet. In the Action column to the left of the appropriate course, select Add CRN from the drop-down menu and click Submit Changes. DuckWeb now displays the registered status of the class. If the course you are registering for is a lab or discussion that has a related lecture, you will need to register for both at the same time. To do this, navigate to the Add Drop Worksheet. Select Add CRN from the drop-down box in the Action column next to the lab or discussion. Do not click Submit Changes. First, type the associated lecture CRN into the field at the bottom of the screen. When both the lecture is typed into the field and Add CRN is selected in the action column of the related lab or discussion, click Submit Changes. You have successfully registered for your waitlisted course.